Somewhere in the quiet corners of untamed nature, far from the hum of beekeeping farms, live the wild native bees. No colorful hives, no human caretakers, only the rhythm of the forest, the pulse of the land, and the soft, invisible work of pollination. There are over 20,000 species of wild bees on our planet, and just one of them, the European honeybee, is commonly known to most people. The rest, wild, often solitary, and absolutely essential. They may not make much honey, but they pollinate nearly 80% of all flowering plants, including many of the foods we eat every day. In Australia alone, there are more than 1,600 species of native bees. Some, like Tetrabanula carbonaria or T. hawkinsi, are stingless and produce a dark medicinal honey known to Aboriginal peoples as sugar bag. Many native bees are solitary. They live alone, without queens or hives. They build nests in hollow plant stems, sandy soil, or tree bark. Some species are just a few millimeters long and live only a few weeks, yet in that time, they play a vital role in ecosystems that have existed for millions of years. Research from the University of Queensland has shown that some native bees can see ultraviolet patterns on flowers and even detect the electrical fields that blossoms emit. This helps them sense whether another bee has already visited a tiny, buzzing world of invisible signals. Certain crops, like tomatoes, eggplants, and blueberries, require a technique called buzz pollination, a kind of vibration that releases pollen. Honeybees can't do it, but native bees can, okay? And they do it better. But these silent workers face growing threats. Habitat loss, pesticides, climate change, and invasive species are pushing many native bee populations to the edge. When they vanish, entire ecosystems may begin to unravel. Yet hope remains. Scientists, indigenous communities, and conservationists are working to protect wild bee habitats, promote native plantings, and educate the public about their importance. Even simple actions, planting flowers, avoiding pesticides, can help. The world of native bees is a quiet story, and it's one worth listening to, and it's one we must protect.